Hey Internet, this is Gunter with Mini Mishaps Games, and today we are going to go for a magic carpet ride. Alright, so we are going to be celebrating Lumpy Rug Day by making a magic carpet. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about Rug Ball, which is a sport in the Gatherverse. And, uh, and then we'll try and uh, line up some of the locations in Gather that line up with the uh, Magic Carpet song from Aladdin. So first up though, we'll make the thing. And uh, it 3D printed the uh, time-lapse camera that I had timed out on itself and ran out of battery and turned off and I don't have a time lapse of the 3D printing for you. And then as I went to remove the supports, the thing snapped in half. So you have a <laughs> glue and plastic project ahead of us as well as the painting bit uh, this time. So, uh, But here's a couple of, uh, of shots of the um, project that I'm just while we're watching glue dry here and so you can see it still had a pretty significant crack that I I, uh, I filled up with that thermoset plastic as I am want to do and uh, so the story uh, as far as rug ball goes is that uh, rug ball um, is played at the new Unfun Academy and it's sort of a rite of passage for new adventurers attending the academy to face off against the uh, alumni or upperclassmen. And there's actually, we have a module on Drive-Thru RPG that is the uh, Mandibarkian student that has a game of rug ball as part of it. So you can go check that out, uh, free on Drive-Thru RPG, I think. And um, so, but in rug ball, your goal is to put a ball through a hoop, uh, except that there are these uh, rugs that are magically imbued to try and grapple your character and um, and the other team's character as well. So it's kind of a you versus the other team versus the <laughs> field, which has uh, got a bunch of these uh, attack carpets on it. And there's all kinds, if you go to our Discord server, a whole bunch of stories about the rug ball carpets and and other uh, rug related uh, magical bits there and the storytelling and the virtual ventures uh, but we are going to um, give this 3d printed rug a color of purplish blue and when this dried it was pretty apparent that this is going to end up looking almost like a uh, the cover from Aladdin so we just went with it and then added the gold so that was a pretty easy paint I don't get to do all this is one of my first freehand paintings so all the gold was was just uh, kind of out of my imagination there uh, did the base gray. The base is uh, two by two circles, so it'll fit on a standard board like a large creature, like the horse or mount or lion or anything that can take a rider or a centaur. They're all two by twos. Uh, but the cool thing about this one is the way that it printed and the way that I glued it back together is it can actually hold a one by one person uh, with a base and have them set on top of it on the map. So there it is all painted up and we'll give it a spin on the spinner and then uh, a couple of angles here with the uh, with the stills on the black background. But uh, this was a lot of fun. It's a quick, easy, fast thing. Your, your players will love it if you're a DM and uh, it's just a, just a fun just a fun little piece of 3D printing and painting. So that's the video. It's short, it's sweet, it's uh, full of magic and um, so tomorrow tune back in it is May the 4th and we will be painting up something special for uh, the Star Wars Day 
something that hopefully I can still use in the D&D campaign. So watch out for that. All right, find your magic, find your epic, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks, Internet. I almost uh, forgot to tell you guys where you can go on your magic carpet ride in the Getherverse to hit all those locations from the Aladdin song. If you are looking for pyramids, you can take, there is a portal west of Kithern that you can dial in and go to the pyramids of Amenzankwa and Sharesha. And uh, so that will cover the pyramids. If you're looking for the Greek pillars and uh, pools, the Gromachan gods are currently at the bottom of the sea, just outside of the Animalian city of Atlika. So get on your scuba gear and uh, head to the bottom of the ocean, and you can see those those Greco-Roman pillars. Uh, if you're looking for the uh, Japanese architecture from that uh, from that carpet ride then you're going to be looking uh, to Lower Mine Spa and uh, all the buildings that are built out from the Neocap Cliff. So that has been, or you could go to the Monastery of Shanat Eater of Ships and that is also northwest of Kithan. So there you have it. That is the, the additional bonus Disney content uh, crossover with the Getherverse if you want to go find those locations. and. Uh, and uh, match the song there. So, okay, this time for real. See you, internet.